Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It seems Meta is really hard at work. They have recently released this 3D generation model from images called as vFusion 3D. We are going to install this model locally and then we are going to generate a mesh and a video which is 3D with the help of simple image. I will also be showing you step by step conceptual instructions as what exactly is meant by this fusion and then what is happening inside the model before we begin let me give a huge shout out to best compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so let's go back here to v fusion 3d so this model, as I said, is a model from Meta and this works on the principle of feed forward. When we say feed forward or uh, feed forward in neural networks, what it means is that it refers to a type of network architecture where information flows only in one direction from input layer to the output layer without any feedback loops or recurrent connections. This means in simple words that data flows through the network only once without any feedback connections and the output of each layer is not fed back into the previous layer. Feed forward networks are typically faster to train than the recurrent neural networks and are well suited for static data such as 3D models. And in this vFusion 3D, being a feed-forward 3D generative model, it means that it processes 3D data and synthetic multi-view data in a single pass. This architecture choice allows for efficient training and scalability, making it really suitable for large-scale 3D generative and reconstruction tasks. The feed-forward design enables vFusion 3D to focus on learning spatial relationships and patterns in the data without considering temporal dependencies, which is ideal for its 3D modeling applications. So let's get started and we are going to install it now. Also, if you don't want to install it, you can simply go to its hugging face space and then you can play around with it. I will also drop the link to it in video's description. So here I am running Kubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. Let's wait for it to get created. Shouldn't take too long. Virtual environment is created. Now let's install these prerequisites. These are present on their repo too. So you see I'm installing a lot of stuff around Torch, Torch Vision and then in the last line FFmpeg and few other stuff. This is going to take 4 to 5 minutes so let's wait for it to finish. All the prerequisites are done. Next up let's launch our Jupyter Notebook so that we could download and play around with the model in a browser environment. So let's wait for it to get launched. So our notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries and download the model. And the model is being downloaded. Let's wait for it. And you can see that the model size is quite small, just under 2 gig. So let's wait for it. That is done. Now let's pre-process our image. Now you can Use any online image with the URL or any local image after importing this library. So let's initialize this image. And image is being pre-processed here. And this is the image we are going to use. Okay, so image is done. So first up, let's generate a plane to see how it looks like. And this is a plane or the shape where it is telling that, okay, this is a number of images, hit, uh, height, width and color channels and stuff. Let's now see how the mesh looks like. So we are just giving it this uh, planes shape and then the mesh path where it model needs to store the mesh. So let me run it. And it has generated the mesh as you can see and it has saved it on my local system. So if you go to my local directory, you will see that there is this awesome underscore mesh.obj 
you can use a local tool like blender and there are various on depending upon the operating system or you could go to any online 3d viewer just like i have gone here and i have dropped it here so this is the 3d stuff uh, which you can see i am just rotating it it is just an online site which i have just grabbed 3d viewer.net the free tool and i just dropped my image here just lagging a bit but you can see that it's a 3d uh, representation or mesh of this image interesting okay let's now generate the video out of it let me paste the code here and that code is going to generate the video from this image and that will be the 3d video so let me run it and that is going to take a bit of a time now the interesting bit is the repo says that the mesh takes 5 seconds, video takes 30 seconds, but mesh has taken around 5 minutes to generate. So you just have to be patient there. So while it generates the video, uh, so let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video, which are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its Python SDK and live debugging tool. You can scrape and interact with web content. Agent QL works on any page, public or private. It is quite resilient. Page structure changes, but Agent QL still returns the same result. It is quite reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your own query. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Coming back to our video generation, it is still running. As I said, it is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait for it to finish and then we will check out how it generates the video and the video has been created now let me play it so just for the reference let me show you the image again let's go to my local system so it has saved this video here at awesome underscore video so let me play it this is a player let's see there you go how cool it looks really good stuff so it's a 3d video from that image which we have uploaded and you can of course upload any image and 3d and create a 3d video out of it easily not only that but we also saw that we can also create a mesh out of it so real good stuff uh, i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think another cool thing is that they have also provided a very finely written research paper with it with there is a lot of information around it as what they have done how they have created it also they have this project page where they have discussed all the architectural details the pipeline how it uses the diffusion models and then multi-view data generators the data set and then these are few of the results just like we have generated one you can generate things like these and then there is a comparison with a lot of other models which you can check out along with some of the benchmarking information so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching